design a space that reflects your personality. Look to your passions for inspiration. Hello, my name is Edward Dower, and welcome to our family museum here of classic cars and all of our collectibles. Cars are definitely a passion for us. When we uh, designed the museum and the layout, we wanted to go by themes. Everything uh, you've seen in the museum is original. Even the cars have the original colors. What I love about theme design is that it tells a story and also allows you to express who you are as an individual. We check out some amazing theme design ideas on today's Soplo Home Project. Welcome to Soflo Home Project. I'm Elena Capra. We're here at the Dower Museum of Classic Cars today checking out some pretty cool theme design and hopefully we'll keep you at home inspired with your own theme design whether it be in a man cave, garage, bedroom, den and much much more. So we're here in Sunrise at the Dower Museum of Classic Cars, joined by Eddie Dower. Eddie, welcome to Soplo Home Project. Welcome, uh, Elena. I'm glad you were able to come by here today. We are so excited to show our viewers this amazing car museum. When I first walked in the door, I noticed there's different vignettes, different themes. What made you kind of come up with that way to display the cars? Well, my wife Joanne and I started collecting cars in 1971. So when we needed a place to display our collection, uh, Joanne and I said, we don't want to just have a building full of cars. We wanted to make it enjoyable for people to come by and see and showcase the industrial might of the United States. So when you come here, you're not just seeing cars. You're seeing technology as it has developed. So you've bought in your passions of collecting cars and created this beautiful backdrop for all of the collection. Yes. Let's talk a little bit about what's behind us. So we have the Hollywood uh, Theater and Premiere. And if you look at the, uh, the wall covering behind us there, you can see Fred Astaire with his top hat and you can see the actual cars that we have in the collection on the wallpaper. I was uh, originally trained as an electrical engineer uh, at the University of Miami and I always had an interest in electronics and I always had an interest in collecting the old antique television equipment. So I have here the very first of the broadcast image Orthicon black and white cameras from wow. 1947. We have the very first of the color TV cameras. And then we also have a working TV station. This was an opportunity for us to showcase the other collections that we have. Well, and that's really great. And it's also great design advice for our viewers because really kind of bringing out what you're passionate about it might not be just one thing. It's not just cars. Something you could also do in your own home. And when you do your own home, if you want to have your own garage, your own little uh, man cave or woman cave, whatever you want to do, incorporate your own hobbies in there. So Eddie, thank you so much for giving us the background of how you and Joanne created such a, a cool museum of classic cars and some other great memorabilia as well. Right now, I'm gonna head on through and show our viewers all of the cool stuff. And we will catch up with you at the end. All right, enjoy your tour and I'll see you when you're finished. All right, thank take you. Care. on the first stop of our tour of this incredible classic car museum. And before I jump into how we're relating theme design to the home, I just wanna show you guys some of the cool features here. Like, look at this. This is a hatchback from the late 40s that actually was a utility sedan that could be used for camping as well. I've never seen anything like this. Right here, this is set up as a drive-in movie theater, complete with speakers and trays that attach to the car. I mean, these are like the original thing. And it's small details like this when you are doing a theme design in any room in your home that really bring that together. Now, there's a lot of ways that you could take your passions in to your own home and say they are cars as well. You could do a lot using parts from that. Perhaps it's a light or the license plates, whether it's in a den, a home theater, a man cave, or a garage. In past episodes, we had a homeowner whose passion was aviation, and they used a piece of the side of a plane and put some lighting behind it and hung it on the wall as a decorative accent. Another great way to weave a design theme throughout the decor in a room in your home 
is by bringing in a very cool backdrop. You can do a wall mural on one singular wall, or if you don't want to cover the whole wall, individual posters like we saw back in the theater area. You can use smaller parts of larger things to really bring the theme design in your room. Coming up on SoFlo Home Project, when it comes to theme design, art is in the eye of the beholder. I'm Takron Auto with FHIA, and we're going to look at an installation where a family was tired of putting up the shutters. We're going to show you their choices on today's SoFlo Home Project. Welcome back to Soflo Home Project. I'm Elena Capra and we're continuing our day talking about all things theme design here at the Dower Museum of Classic Cars in Sunrise. Now, when it comes to designing with a theme, I think it could be something that can be tricky if you don't clearly define the theme that you're going with. So in this case, cars are the theme and they have created different vignettes. And here, we're in the gas station. The gas station was the initial first uh, major uh, part of the museum. And so with the Ford tanker truck outfitted as a Texaco, which was their brand, then we made a Texaco gas station. We used Chicago brick. Uh, the gas pumps are all original and all the other things that you would find at a gas station in the 1930s or 1940s. One of the best ways you could incorporate a theme is to use smaller items that are representative of that theme throughout the room. So here we have items like this old compressor and some other things that really create the feel of the gas station, the workspace vibe. When it comes to cars, it's not just the car itself that brings in that theme. Sometimes it's as simple as sourcing something that you might even have in the garage lying around that suddenly becomes art to bring in your theme. In a recent designer tour, we had seen an engine used as sculptural wall art. And honestly, it was such a cool look. So the most unexpected pieces can really be eye-catching pieces of art in your home. So the decor doesn't always have to be super expensive. It could be as simple as finding old items, a traffic light, or signs, it's old stop signs, old road signs. It's also a great way to infuse color into a room as well. I really think bringing in things like signage is a great way to bring your personality into the space. Perhaps you're using license plates and you have a state where you're originally from or places you love to visit or an old street sign or something symbolic that brings in your own personal touch. You could definitely do that with signage and it's a great conversation piece. Design really comes down to being all about the details. That's what makes your personality really come through in a space, but it's also about keeping safe with impact windows and doors, and let's see what Tac Granada from FHIA has for us today. I'm Tac Granada with FHIA, and when we met with these homeowners, their biggest concern was changing out these windows because they were tired of putting up their paneled shutters. They lived here for over 20 years, and over the last several years, it seemed like they are putting up the shutters more and more often. So we looked at so many different options from a few different manufacturers. They ultimately decided on a great window from Custom Window Systems. And the fact that the window had a great hurricane glass breakage warranty was really important to them because they really didn't want to put up these shutters. They're never going to have to do anything again. They can get rid of those shutters and feel really safe and secure behind these new windows. In doing this project and consulting with them initially, they wanted to get rid of the shutters, but they also really wanted to change out this door. It didn't open and close properly. It had been here. It was the original door that was put in when the house was built. It was giving them a lot of trouble and made it difficult for them to get out to their patio in their backyard. So not only did we want to upgrade the hurricane protection, but they really wanted something that would be a lot easier for them to open and close. So we decided to go with a product from PGT that's going to give them exactly what they wanted with the hurricane protection and it's also going to open and close real easily for them. So I know they made a great decision. I'm anxious to see how everything finishes up. The biggest reason for this family to change out their windows was they were tired of putting up the panel shutters and they're never going to have to do that again. They made a great decision with new hurricane windows and the sliding glass door turned out perfectly. 
but it also really transformed the look of the house. It looks really good. We got rid of the old original windows that were difficult to open, difficult to close, and it cosmetically changes the whole appearance of the home. So not only do they love the hurricane protection they have and they're gonna feel a lot safer this season, but they really love the transformation it made to the home. So they're really happy with how everything turned out. Back to you, Elena. Thanks, Tat. So how cool is this? These are authentic gas pumps. I mean, this is the ultimate theme decor if you are a car lover. When you're designing with a theme in your own home, I thought this was a good opportunity to show you that it's not just about the items you place in the room, but you also want to consider the walls. As we've toured through this cool car museum, each of the different vignettes have different backdrops. So in this particular space, they've created a storefront of a gas station. And what's very cool about that is the authentic type of look of the Chicago brick on the facade. And they even took it one step further and put a barrel tile roof and of course all the signage. So if you are looking to bring in that brick wall theme, you can do a literal brick wall facade like this here, but there's some other ways to do it. You can just clad the wall in brick like we saw in an episode where we showed a man cave that had one wall in that. And we've also done it where you could do brick wallpaper. We toured a home in Brickle where they used the brick wallpaper in an accent wall of the home gym. So there's lots of ways to bring in that industrial look, that sort of storefront look with brick, actual brick, or other materials that look like it. Coming up next, we look at universal decor themes for any room. How do you choose the right mover when it's time to make your move? Well, we're gonna get some great tips today on how to do just that from Good Greek Moving and Storage. So when it comes to moving, we've definitely heard a lot of horror stories about people choosing the wrong movers and having yeah. all sorts of problems. Yeah, that's unfortunate. And as a former police officer, I saw firsthand my share of those moving horror stories. Oh, wow. uh, but at Good Greek, what I can tell you is that uh, First of all, we're a company of integrity and honesty. Um, second, we background check all of our employees, make sure that uh, the same people that I would send into my house are gonna come to your house. And last but not least, we do everything by the book, legally. A written quote, um, customer knows in advance what they're paying, so there is no horror story. There's no, there's no bad surprises. What if something breaks? Oh, that never happens. I mean, <laughs> no, seriously, uh, the customer does have options. They can buy insurance in advance and uh, it's, they get to choose how much coverage and what deductible, uh, or they can go with the standard level of coverage. It really just depends on what type of move it is. So a lot of time people want to maybe think it's a good savings or to do something on their own with friends, family, by themselves. Sure. What are some of the pitfalls of something like that? Well, when you're not dealing with professionals, and let's face it, most of uh, consumers are not professional movers, uh, that's really when you have the damage or even worse, injury. With professionals, we've got the proper equipment, we've got the proper training, the know-how, how to lift something. You know, it's not about brawn, it's about technique. Absolutely. Um, and of course, we've got the proper uh, materials to protect the furniture. So by using a professional, you're limiting the chances of damage and injury. So if you don't ever want to attempt your own DIY move again, you know who to call. Good Greek Moving and Storage. Call Star Star Greek right from your cell or go to goodgreek.com. Spiro, thank you so much for joining us today. It was great to learn so many good moving tips that I hope the homeowners can use when they're ready. Thank you. Welcome back to Soclo Home Project. I'm Elena Capra, and we're continuing our tour of, I think, some of the best car theme design I've ever seen at the Dower Museum of Classic Cars here in Sunrise. So we wanted to give you guys some theme design ideas into your own home decor. So nostalgia plays a very big part in theme design. I think if there's a certain era, the 80s, the 90s, the 60s, 70s, but right here we're in the 50s. Everything uh, you've seen in the museum is authentic and not a reproduction. Even the cars have the original colors that were available for that year. The jukeboxes, the traffic signals, everything is original. 
from the time. They've got the jukebox here. This is totally iconic and perfect for this era. It speaks to the 50s, but the lights, it's just a fun thing to have in your home if you are going for a nostalgic theme like 1950. And of course, this Thunderbird, which is just beautiful in color. Another way to bring a little bit of the nostalgic feel to your theme design, and in this case, the 50s, is by bringing in color palettes that are also reminiscent of that time. So back in that era, we've seen cars in these cream colors as well as pastels. So taking a cue from color palettes that were big in that era will help you build what you want to bring into that room. We've got a lot of metallic, a lot of beautiful shiny chrome. So when you're going with something like that for your furnishings, bringing in the chrome accents, bringing in things that also mimic other items of that time period. Using a mural on your wall is another way to bring in your theme design on one key wall. I think one of the main things when you are designing with a theme to remember is it doesn't always have to be everywhere in the room, but weave it throughout the space. So maybe it's a wall, maybe it's something on the floor, and some accent pieces as well. So bringing in elements from a specific decade is a great way to carry your theme throughout. Next, on SoFlo Home Project, finding your theme sometimes has to do with nostalgia. Welcome back to SoFlo Home Project. I'm Elena Capra and we are on the last stop of our tour today with all of the inspiration of theme design at the Dower Museum of Classic Cars here in Sunrise. And we are continuing our tour talking about the way your passions, in this case the passions being cars, antique cars, can be a starting point to really creating an amazing theme design. Cars are definitely a passion for us. Uh, I think most people like cars. How often do you find someone that doesn't like old cars? I think it shows the history of, of America and the way we've evolved. Current cars today, no way can showcase the uh, industry that it was back in the 40s and the 1950s. So we're still in the 1950s. We got some 1953 cars behind me. So reminiscent of the time, cool colors, really cool upholstery. And of course, it would not be complete without a 50s diner, complete with neon signs and ways that you could incorporate a nostalgic 50s look is with neon. And right now neon is so popular. It's seen such a resurgence. We did a makeover episode a few months back where we used a cool neon sign for a playroom. People are using it in their home offices, bars, man cave. Other things they've used to create the 50s look and they've got a lot of great memorabilia and pieces, microphones from way back then. And these are things that again, you could get replicas of stuff and, and antique microphones, older things like that and create decorative elements for your themed decor. You could really do a lot with pieces from the past that bring in a nostalgic look and create the perfect theme design. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. We've seen so many cool things, so many cool cars and backdrops, and I hope you've got a lot of inspiration for future theme designs in your own home. So now we're gonna go check back with Eddie and wrap up our tour. Eddie, this tour was so cool. I enjoyed walking through all 30,000 square feet of cars and amazing theme design. Oh, I'm so happy you were able to come today and enjoy it. Joanne and I were really uh, pleased to be able to host you today. Thank you all for coming today to visit our museum. I'm glad we were able to share it with you and hope that you'll be able to come out and visit with your friends and family. Thank you very much. And now let's see what Hunter Frankie from SoFlo Health has for us tomorrow. Hey Hunter, what's going on? Hey there, Elena. Tomorrow on SoFlo Health, we are at Hillsboro Pineland Natural Area, which is a Florida Wildlife Nature Preserve. Plus, we have some great information from the CDC. We've got some skincare routines for when you're wearing a mask, and we even have a great message for our at-risk population from a doctor. And if that's not enough for you, we also have a workout inside of a hotel to keep you safe using local boutiques. What do I mean? You'll just have to watch tomorrow at 12.30 and find out. 
Sounds like you've got a lot of great stuff for us. We'll definitely be watching. And to our viewers at home, thank you for joining us for this inspirational and theme design tour at the Dower Museum of Classic Cars. And we'll see you again next week for another episode of SoFlo Home Project, only on Local 10. And remember, there's no place like home. SoFlo Home. If you miss any part of this episode, or if you're looking for more design inspiration, make sure to check out all episodes online at SoFloHomeProject.com. You could also submit your own design disasters, and you never know, we could be knocking on your door to help. And don't forget to follow us on social media, on Facebook and Instagram. Next week on SoFlo Home Project, there's definitely an art to wall art, which many of us struggle with. We break things down with expert advice on how to select the right artwork to fit your home decor.